tell you what I see. Please, and uh, be brutal. I have no closet sensitivity. Are you very fussy about your pants? I don't think I am. Because I have a very radical idea. Can you handle it? Try me. Here's what I'm proposing. We'll eliminate all this, the hangers, the bar, the shelves, and in its place, install a series of hooks. We'll put everything on hooks. Everything? Everything. The shirts, pants, sports jackets, pajamas. We can get 80 hooks on here. You're quite mad, you know. <laughs> oh, I don't believe this. Are you going to watch a Nick game tonight? I don't know. Will you tape it? Kramer. Oh, yeah, you <laughs> So your boyfriend never came back from Berlin? Never came back. Oh, you must have been devastated being left for a wall. Well, it was about to end anyway. There was this problem. Uh-huh. Excuse me one second. Yeah? It's me. Come on up. Uh, it's Elaine. She's just a friend of mine. I don't know what she's doing here now. I'm sorry. What? I didn't get it. Oh. <laughs> So you were saying there was this problem? Well, he wanted me to move in with him. Snapple? No, thanks. <laughs> Go on. Well, I wouldn't move in because... Yes? Well, because... Yeah? Well, because I'm a virgin. Hello! Hi, um, uh, Marla, Elaine? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't know you had company. I just wanted to return your tape. Oh, thanks a lot, two weeks late. That cost me $35 to see Havana. I'm sorry, I really am. I just kept forgetting. I should be going. No, 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 I'm leaving. I'm I like leaving. that thing in your hair there. Oh, yeah? <laughs> this woman was selling them at this crazy party I was at last night. You'll appreciate this. Snapple? No, thanks. <laughs> I was talking to this guy, you know, and I just happened to throw my purse on the sofa, and my diaphragm goes flying out. <laughs> so I just froze, you know, uh, staring at my diaphragm, you know, it was just lying there. So then this woman, the one who sold me this hair thing, she grabbed it before the guy noticed. So, I mean, big deal, right? So I carry around my diaphragm. Who doesn't? I mean, like, it's a big, big secret that women carry around their diaphragms. You never know when you're going to need it, right? <laughs> I should be going. So uh, uh, we'll talk about the hooks, then. Yes. What? Was it something I said? She's a virgin. She just told me. Well, I didn't know. Well, it's not like spotting a toupee. <laughs> will, you, will you think I should say something? Should I say something? Should I apologize? Was I was I being anti-virgin? No, no, I mean... I, I'm not anti-virgin. I'm gonna be, I'll be right back. Don't lay, don't lay. Look, Marla, <clears throat> this whole sex thing is totally overrated. Now, the one thing you've got to be ready for is how the man changes into a completely different person five seconds after it's over. <laughs> I mean, something happens to their personality. It's really quite astounding. It's like uh, they committed a crime and they want to flee the scene before the police get there. So they just leave? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Well, the smart ones start working on their getaway stories during dinner. How, you know, they got to get up early tomorrow. It's about being up early. They all turn into farmers suddenly. Yeah, it must be really good to put up with all that. Ah. Oh. Are you going to want to leave after it's over? You know, if we have sex. What? Leave? Where? Why? You know, the apartment. Why would I leave? This is my apartment. Well, what if it was my apartment? Who gave me this idea I would want to leave? Well, Elaine said men like to leave after it's over. Listen, I wouldn't put too much stock in anything Elaine has to say about relationships. She comes from a broken home. And I mean that literally. A tree fell on a roof and cracked the whole structure. <laughs> Her parents got along beautifully, but the house was in bad shape. Maybe I should be going. <laughs>